You open up Spotify. Instead of going to your playlist though, you look at your like songs. It has over 2,000 songs in it. Yet somehow, every time you hit shuffle, Radiohead's No Surprises comes on again and again. Does this sound familiar? I know it does because this has been one of the biggest complaints about Spotify ever since I've had the service. But if this complaint's so popular, how are we getting here? Does Spotify not know how to code randomness? Well, I decided to look into it, and the more I looked into it, the less simple the answer became. The real story actually involves thousands of user complaints, a misunderstanding of how our brains perceive patterns, and a deliberate choice by Spotify's engineers that have changed the way that millions of people listen to music. So I'm gonna walk us through how we got here and show you how I coded my own app to reintroduce randomness into my life. Let's talk about what Spotify was like back in 2014. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? At the time, their shuffle function was exactly what you'd expect. It was truly mathematically random. When you hit shuffle on your 2,000 like songs, the algorithm would just pick a random number between 1 and 2,000. It would play that song, and then it would pick another random number between 1 and 1,999, and so on. It was chaos and in that weird things happen. When we think of randomness, we think that the next thing that's going to come is going to be different than what we've experienced. But true randomness means you might get the same artist back to back. You might hear three slow songs in a row, you might hear three fast songs in a row, and you might even hear the same song you heard yesterday. It's statistically unlikely, but it's not impossible, and when you have as many users as Spotify, someone was bound to experience this. And that's exactly what happened. Spotify was bombarded with complaints. People were convinced that the shuffle was biased towards certain artists or just broken. In fact, they were so flooded with complaints that a lead developer actually wrote a blog post trying to explain that, no, nothing's broken. Our brains are just tricking us. The shuffle truly is random. But nobody reads, and so the complaints just kept coming in. So we're having this moment, and Spotify's faced with a choice. Do they stick with true randomness, or do they give in to what humans feel is truly random? Well, as the saying goes, the customer is always right, and they chose to give the people what they wanted. They abandoned true randomness, and instead, they decided to build a new algorithm designed to feel random. This new shuffle would scan your playlist ahead of time and do things like intentionally space out songs from the same artist and the same genre. Think of it like this. A truly random deck of cards might deal for you four aces in a row. Spotify's new shuffle is going to ensure that that never happens. They're gonna make sure you get one heart, one spade, one club, and then a diamond. It seems fair and balanced, but it's, it's not random anymore. It's a curated experience. But hold on, if Spotify's algorithm is actively spacing artists out to create variety, why does it feel like I still hear the same songs over and over again? Well, this is where a second, more hidden part of the algorithm comes in. I'm sure you can guess it. They're trying to personalize it to what they think you like. Spotify Shuffle isn't just a shuffler anymore. It's more like a DJ. And a DJ's number one job is to keep the party going, to play the hits. I mean, think of Spotify's perspective. The more time you spend on Spotify, the better they're doing. And so, if there's a chance that they're gonna put in a song that they think you might not like, they're gonna take it out of that queue. Take a guess how they decide which songs you actually like the most. Well, of course, they're the songs you listen to the most. The ones you never skip and the artists you have on repeat. The algorithm sees this data and constantly injects these safe songs into your queue because it knows you like them. So there's this algorithm that's constantly fighting itself, and on one hand, it's trying to give you variety by separating artists, but on the other, it's trying to get engagement by serving you your personal greatest hits. And in that battle, I bet Spotify chooses giving you what you like more often than not. So the reason that your massive library of 2,000 songs feels like a playlist of 50 is because the Spotify algorithm is afraid that you are going to leave if it plays something you haven't heard in a while. That's fine, but... If Spotify won't give me truly random shuffle, why don't I just build one myself? So that's exactly what I did. I want to introduce you to True Shuffle, my super simple web app 
that does one thing and it does it quite well. It gives you a truly mathematically random shuffle. My goal was to create something with no hidden agenda, no personalization, no engagement metrics, just the actual Fisher Yates shuffle that we talked about. It's so simple, it's gonna take me, I'm gonna explain this super quickly. One, you log into Spotify. Two, it's gonna load your playlist and show you your like songs as well. Three, you click on it, and then it just queues up your Spotify songs in a random order. That's it. There were some caveats along the way, but they're not really worth talking about. The only big one is that Spotify only allows you to queue up so many songs. And so I queue up 150 songs at any given time. That way you're still getting about 15 hours of music, which is more than any listening session I ever have. So good enough for me. And I thought this was cool, but when I actually started running and using it, it was actually cooler than I thought. There were songs that came up where I was like, wow, I actually haven't heard this in years and it brought back memories. Some good, some bad, but that's what Random Shuffle does. And that's actually what I wanted. And in addition to that, it brought up songs that I actually only liked once and probably listened to once and left there forever. Of course, there were some songs I didn't want to hear, but at least I was getting something new. I was getting the entire collection of songs I've ever listened to and thought, oh, I want to hear that again. Instead of Spotify telling me, this is what you want to hear because you've already heard it. Does Spotify make, stop making me sick of my favorite songs? When I press random, I really do want to hear randomness. And guess what? The pattern happened. I had my girlfriend use this and she clicked on a playlist. And when we opened up her queue, her first words were, this is the song that's always on top of my playlist. And I felt like that Spotify developer in the moment. I was like, no, 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 but that, that is random. Yes, that is the case, but it just so happens out of mathematical probability that it ended up there. And when I've shown it to other friends, they've told me the same thing. They're like, it keeps just playing me this artist. Well, that's random too. It's a small web app, but it completely changes my listening experience. I, I go from being passively fed to actively engaging with the years that I've listened to Spotify and heard a song and decided I want to hear that again. And this idea of breaking free from the algorithm, it's so much bigger than just music. The videos YouTube recommends me, the products that Amazon should does, the news in my social media feed, Netflix, Hulu, all of them. We spend so much of our lives inside these algorithmic boxes built by code. And those algorithms aren't designed to help us discover something new or challenge our perspective. They're designed for one main reason, to predict what keeps us watching or scrolling, whether it makes us mad, whether it makes us sad, whatever it is that keeps you doing the thing. And that has no correlation to the actual joy of discovery, of discovering something new, of taking a chance and saying, it might be bad, but I might experience something really beautiful. There have been so many times when my friends have shown me something, I'm like, wow, I can't believe I've been missing out on this show, on this movie, on this book, on this song, on this YouTuber. And I'm like, how is that happening? Well, it's obvious how that's happening. I'm living in a world dictated by algorithms. Algorithms that just want to feed me what's comfortable and familiar, just like Spotify. But true discovery, whether it's something completely new or even just a song that I forgot I loved or an idea I've never considered, happens when you intentionally step out of these algorithmic boxes. And when you choose a little bit of chaos over comfort. And that's what this project's all about. It's a small way to take back just a little bit of control and bring some of that real randomness back into my life. So if you wanna try this, I've put the link in the description. There are some caveats. You may have to run your own code, but I'm gonna post all that code on GitHub. It's in the description, completely free to use. And I would genuinely love to hear what you think about it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Go listen to something new.